now that the last Ronin issue is finally over with, we could talk about every single Ninja Turtles death that has happened. From the IDW comics, Ninja Turtles Urban Legend and The Last Ronin, your favorite turtle has probably died. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about it. Warning, this video does contain some spicy spoilers. What up, Geektron here, and if you love the turtles and 90s and early 2000s related, consider subscribing. Donatello's death in the IDW. In the IDW, Donatello got ambushed by Bebop and Rocksteady and was basically beaten to death. But with some science, they uploaded Donatello's mind into Metalhead and eventually was put back in his body. The Ninja Turtle Urban Legend, Donatello actually died twice in this comic book run. The turtle was celebrating Dom's birthday, how ironically, when they get ambushed by Cyborg. They blasted and destroyed parts of Donatello's shell and kidnapped him. He passed out, then when he woke up, he was on a helicopter. He started to fight them, then he free falls off the helicopter straight into cement. But he was still alive, and then the unbearable. He gets eaten alive by rats. Yep, they actually show his bones. The Ninja Turtle end up burying him, but somehow he was still alive, but into a cyborg. That was pretty damn weird, if you ask me. Somehow the cyborg absorbed him, and he became like Metal Don, just like the IDW. Now you know where they get the idea from. But he ended up finding a supervillain called Death Watch, which he separated his mind from the cyborg and blasted a hole right through him. And he actually died again. Fiel, Last Ronin. In the Last Ronin, the turtles get ambushed and Master Splinter was in serious condition, which pissed off Rapt led him to head out by himself to take out his revenge on Karai. Raphael was destroying all these foot soldiers who got in his way until he met up with Karai. They fought one on one and they end up falling into the water. That's when Raphael tries to drown Karai, but she ends up stabbing him right through the chin. Leo last Ronin. To be honest, I didn't like how Leo went out in this one. Leo and the gang was ambushed Dr. Stockman because he wanted Honeycut, but he was losing so he got pissed off and decided to blow up the whole lair which ended up killing Leo and Casey Jones. Coming up next, Donatello last Ronin. I know, I know, damn Donatello has no luck. Four times. Donatello has died four times. No love for Donatello. In the last Ronin, Master Splinter and Donatello got ambushed in Japan while hoping to have a peace treaty. A war broke out between the two sides and that's when Master Splinter went nuts after he found out that his sons died in New York. Master Splinter snapped, he went beast mode and was slicing all kinds of heads off. Until unfortunately they launched a whole bunch of arrow which Donatello got in the way to shield Master Splinter which ended up killing them. Last on our list, the last Ronin himself, Michelangelo, unfortunately falls. In the last issue, Mikey and the new Shredder battle to the death. Mikey gave his all to kill Hirotu, Karai's son, which he did, but Mikey was badly injured and passed away. But we did see him rejoin his family in heaven, try to give us a happy ending. So which death was the most heartbreaking to you or the most brutal? Let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks.